In this video, I want to talk a little bit about how to use the norm dist function to take a mean and a standard deviation and use those parameters to basically look up a particular value and return the probability of seeing that value in that normal distribution. So you have to remember a little bit about stats for this any of this to really make sense. But if you think about what we're trying to do, what we want to do is we want to look up the temperature 85 and attach that temperature with a probability of seeing that temperature given that the mean for no and the standard deviation for no, which is where that temperature is associated with, or have these values. So just to give some background, the normal distribution takes two parameters, a mean and a standard deviation. And based on those two parameters, it can um, construct a normal curve. And then we can look up a particular value to find how many standard deviations away from the mean that value is and convert that what's ultimately a z-score into a probability. So that's how we get probabilities for numeric variables in the naive Bayes uh, calculations. So let's just take a look at how this um, actually works in Excel. So Excel has a function to do this for us. It's called norm dist, and it's just the normal distribution. And it basically says, okay, tell me what value you want me to look up. And in this case, we want to look up 85. And then it says, okay, well, what's the mean and the standard deviation that we want to um, build? What normal distribution do we want to build um, to check this value against? And in this case, we're, because we're, you know, it's play, um, we're going to use the, right, the mean for no and the standard deviation for no. Oh, got to check the right one, sorry. And then finally, for the last piece, we don't want the cumulative distribution function. We want the what Excel is calling the probability mass function, or what I would call the probability density function. So we want the last one to be called false. And a couple of things that you know we may want to change. We probably want to make this an absolute reference so we can slide it around and not change any of the values. And I think we're okay to have a relative reference for the temperature lookup. So if we've done everything correctly, right, we should get a value that looks like this. And let's just sort of think about what this means. Uh, the probability of seeing an 85 in a normal distribution, given that the mean is 74.6 and the standard de deviation is 7.8, is um, 0 0.02. So we're going to do that for each of these to get a sense of what the probability would be of seeing that value in that distribution. So uh, we would do that obviously for uh, the no side of the equation and the yes side of the equation. And that's how we uh, determine how likely it is we would see that value given the mean and the standard deviation.